Let's see how we can install SQLite 3 in our Windows 11 machine and how we can add SQLite 3 command to command line and how we can create databases and tables. First, type download SQLite in your Google search engine and then you'll see these options. First is from sqlite.org slash download. Then you can, you can also maybe see this just sqlite.org. So click on any of these two. I'll just click on download. Now, if you are in SQLite's homepage, as I am here, so there's a download button here, priorities here. You just click on this download in the navigation bar. And once you've clicked download, as you can see, now both are same. So the URL is sqlite.org slash download. So once you are in this, what you need to do is you need to scroll down to pre-compiled binaries for Windows. As you can see here, there are three options here. 32-bit DLL, 64-bit DLL, and a bundle of command line tools for managing SQL databases and files. So this is what we will be needing. So click on this. And as you can see, the download has started. Once the download is complete, open it. And move it to your C drive. Paste it here. Okay, now you can just right click on it and extract it so where do you want to extract it we will extract it in this sqlite folder so it will be directly inside c and inside sqlite folder click on extract as you can see here it is extracted on double click there's another folder inside here so what we can do is we can select all these and we can move all these outside remove this folder since it is empty now so we just delete it now we have the required things inside our SQLite folder. Now if we open command prompt and if we move to this SQLite folder, as you can see now we are inside SQLite folder. If here we type SQLite 3, now we are where did we go? Now as you can see we are inside the SQLite command line. Here we can type SQLite commands and make databases and stuff. So it's, an error. it's not help, it's dot help. If I do dot help, I can see a list of all the commands that SQLite can take. But we don't want to always open command line in this folder or move to this folder whenever we want to use SQLite, right? So what we need to do is we need to add SQLite to path. So what you can do is type press windows and type environment variables. And we need to add this path to environment variables. So copy this and in, click on environment variables. And in system variables, click on new, sorry, not new, click on path and click edit. And here is the thing that we had copied. And then click OK, click OK again, and click OK again. And now, if I just open command prompt and type SQLite3. As you can see, now I can open SQLite from anywhere. I don't need to go inside that folder. Now, let's try to see what databases we have. As you can see here, we don't have any database right now. Let's say we want to create a database here. So how do you create a database? It's pretty simple. What you do is first quit. Now you're outside of SQLite terminal, as you can see here. So what you need to do is type SQLite 3 and then say test.db. So now this test.db is created and we are inside SQLite and this database is selected. So what you can do is do dot tables and as you can see there is no tables. So let's see how we can create a table. So we can create create tables, create table users and let's say we just need an ID now and ID needs to be integer and we are primary key hit enter and now let's see if we have tables yes we have tables now so table users is created let's see what columns we have inside users so to do that you need to check the schema of of which table of users As you can see here, this is just one column in users. There is ID and it is integer and primary key. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.